Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Random Singh Seven, and uh, it's been a long time that I've done my intro here. Uh, so I've received something that, that I want to show you, and you know, let me quickly show you this and tell you what it exactly it is, and you know, run you through it. So this is something that I very recently received. It's a pre-production version, so there could be issues here and there. So it's basically a hazard light adapter for the ktm 390 adventure and the good thing is uh, this particular hazard adapter does not uh, you know require additional uh, wiring for switches or anything like that your standard switches that are here will you know operate this hazard lights and uh, it also has a brake flasher that is already installed in this so you know and yeah i mean like whenever you press press your brake the flasher i mean the brake light flashes are and there are different patterns to it so yeah uh it's a pre-production version version it's not the final version and uh you know i'll link i'll give the link of where you can purchase this in the description and yeah as i mentioned the good thing you don't need a additional wiring for you know operating the slides the standard switches does the job so yeah let me quickly install this on the bike and let me show you how it's done Okay, so now we have accessed the entire back panel and I've taken out the connectors here. So we already saw the accessories connector earlier. There's the brake connector, there's the indicators connector. So all we need is uh, are these three connectors here, the brake connector and then the indicators. And yeah, we don't need anything else from there. So what I'm going to do now is first, uh, I'll pass the, I've taken out the hazard adapter module. Uh, I think I'll remove the toolkit. I'll pass this from here so that I can have access to the module anytime I want. There we go. Okay, the module is here now. See, I have it. I have access to it anytime. And now, what I need to do is. Uh, the green wire goes to the green connector here and the grey wire goes to the grey connector here so what I'll be doing is uh, let me quickly open this connector first hang on let's see there you go so what I'll do now is I'll uh, there's a green wire here this is supposed to be connected here so I'll strip off a little bit of this uh, green wire Maybe, yeah, this, this one should be fine, I believe, yeah. There we go. So I've stripped off some wire. Just making sure it goes in properly. I'll put it in here, bend it, and put the, you know, connect the connectors again. And there we go. And put this back in so because you're adding wires to the connector it'll be a slightly tight so you have to be a little you know you have to use a little bit more force than you think you would require and now we'll do the same thing for the gray wire I mean, this much is enough there we go uh, just twisting it a little bit so that it you know doesn't interfere too much Disconnect the grey wire, find out which side is the grey cable. As you can see, the left one here is the grey one. So I'll put this in here again. Bend it. And put this back in again. There we go. So now I'll use some electrical tape to, you know, uh, fix these permanently. But for the time being, I'll just test it. So we'll, you know, take out the brake lights, connector. Connect this here and connect this here. Think that should do it. Okay, so now I need to test it. So let me just quickly change the angle and uh, show you the indicators. Okay, so now that we have installed it, let's quickly check whether it's working or not. Uh, let's turn on. 
and I think blinked, right? I didn't notice that. Hang on. Yep, it blinked twice. So that means uh, the hazard lights are now active and they are functioning, I think. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the brake flasher. Okay. Nothing as of now. It's stock. Oh, there is something. No. So it's stock. Uh, the indicators. Ah, crap. My bad. Hang on. One, two. There we go. Yep, it's working fine. So I think there are different patterns and I can change the patterns either from the indicator switch itself or there's a button here that I can use to switch uh, the patterns. There we go. There we go. So I believe there are over 50 patterns and it's kind of difficult to find the one that you like. Okay, now let me quickly try to change the uh, brake flasher. So I need to make sure that the indicators are not working. There we go. Yeah, it could induce seizures to the guy behind. Let me just see the different patterns that are there. So yeah, I mean, we have multiple options of both the brake flasher as well as the indicators with the same unit. That is something really, really nice. Yep, I think this is fine for now. <clears throat> oh, this has the breathing effect. It's not that bad. When I press it, it's lit up. Leave it, it's breathing. I don't mind that. Okay, let that be for the time being. It's not using seizures to anyone, so it's fine. So yeah, that's how you install the hazard flasher and as well as the brake light flasher and i think there are two patterns that you know you can save it i don't remember anymore yep that's the pattern i just saved and this is another pattern so there are two different patterns that you can save and access immediately as you want and the brake light flasher as you can see is still flashing on its own and when you press the brake, it's always glowing. Maybe I don't like that. I don't mind it actually. It's not bad. So anyway guys, uh, that's pretty much the installation of the brake flasher as well as the hazard flasher. Wait, I don't like that again. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you don't like what I've been making and yeah, I was lucky enough to get this pre-production version, but uh, there are some issues that I can see. Maybe I can communicate with the makers and fix this so anyway, i'll link the product in the description and you can probably purchase it from there i don't think it's live yet on the website so yeah you'll probably have to wait for a few days yeah i'll take this anyway so that's it guys uh take care bye bye